and uh, for giving me this opportunity. I thank uh, Grenade and Satish and all team members of Grenade who are doing uh, hard work to uh, make it successful. And from long time, you are you people are educating the uh, students and kids worldwide, and that is uh, very much appreciable. I'm not going all these formalities uh, uh, for a long time because we have very less time to do printmaking because printmaking is a very vast subject. And I hope uh, everybody will enjoy this and we will have the fun. Uh, I have a few questions for you. Okay. Uh, what is this? I want to answer from all the participants. Do you know what is this? It looks like a uh, hand prints. Cave painting. Uh, who's uh, cave paintings, right? Are they really painting or prints? Ye yes. kya hai? Print hai ki painting. Hai? Prints, maybe. Hum log jisko kisi bhi jis se hum log jis impression lete hai, usko hum log print bolte hai. Whatever we take the impression of anything on anywhere, we can't call it print. Got it? Next slide. So these are the prints which have done the prehistorical human. Jo Adi Mano tha, unho ne ye paintings banai hai, ya prints banai hai, kyo banai hai? Why did do did this? Kyunki unko samaj mein aaya ki haath ko agar khun lagaye, mitti lagiye, agar diwar ke upar wo laga de, poshle, to wo what they have seen that when uh, their uh, hand get wet with the blood or mud, they try to uh, clean it with the rocks and they found that there are, are some impressions are coming up and they started doing repeating the same thing. So first painting or print, the first painting has started with the print in the world. In the, you can say from the prehistoric period till now the first painting or print uh, her first painting was made up by the prints hand prints and uh, the thing is that uh, even uh, whatever satish has introduced me i was uh, doing international international print exchange program and this is the 10th year of this one and we are celebrating to do different kind of programs along with that so this is another one, one program we are including it along with uh, Ms. The, the grenade has invited us, but we are also including our 10 years uh, uh, program in uh, along with this. So uh, I want to ask you something that what is print making? Do you know anyone knows about the print making? It's like the photocopy, right? Um, with the okay. Paint. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm asking Avinash. Do you know about print making? Yeah, it's also print making. Like in early ages, it was done by placing the paint, writing it in paint and just uh, putting it. Very good. Clemmy? Uh, yes, sir. I think like Avinash said, you will be drawing something and you will paint it and just pressing it or something okay. like that. And Shayash? Do you know about it? No? Okay, much, so now we are going with the next slide and I will show you, you do the printmaking every day. Okay, and you have done it before. Just have done this before? How many of you have, have done this? Sir, I have done this. Yes, sir. Okay, raise yes, your sir. hand. Just raise your hand like this. How many of you have done this? Okay. This one? Lady fingerprint. Got it? So you have done the printmaking. Next slide. Have you done this before? Anywhere? If you are uh, staying near sea coast, uh, uh, seashore, then you can, uh, of course, you have done this. Okay. Another one. Uh, next slide. This one. Have you seen your footprints while walking on the uh, dust or on the mud. Hmm? Yes, sir. So every day you see the prints uh, around you. Har bar aap apne aaju aaju mein prints dekhte ho, par apko pata nahi tha ki prints hai. Okay. Next slide. Ye bhi kiya hai na? 
पैर पानी में भिगो के हमने घर के जमीन पे घर के फ्लोर पे ऐसे इंप्रेशन गिराए और माँ की डांट खाई खाई है ना है ना सो so, अगर हमने कलर इंप्रेशन कलर लगा दिया शूज के सोल को और इफ यू हैव टेकन द दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रिंट्स ऑन द पेपर वी कैन कॉल इट एज आर्ट ना ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी इवोल्यूटेड फ्रॉम द इंप्रेशन सिंपल इंप्रेशन टू द टूअर्ड द आर्ट वी आर यूजिंग प्रिंट मेकिंग टेक्निक एज अर्ट मीडियम ओके ये भी देखा होगा टायर के इंप्रेशन ओके वी आर सींग ऑल दिस प्रिंट विच विच आर रेगुलरली वी यूज इट वी सी इट नाउ वेयर वी यूज इट डू यू नो हैव एनी आइडिया वेयर वेयर वी यूज दिस एवरी इन एवरी डे लाइफ सो आई विल गो हेड ओके ग्रेट Have you done uh, uh, print making before anyone? Raise your hand. No, I have done it. Anyone? Sir. Okay. Sir, uh, print making making can also be used for making wallpapers. Yeah, yeah. It's called mono print. Okay. Next slide. This is print we use in daily life. this me have you have seen this using anguta cap no. now also we are using for aadhar card ha huh? thumb so uh, this is you have seen every day while doing uh, as a signature also it's a function it has a functional value and also the legal document for the court also you know about uh, block printing cloths we wear uh, this kind of uh clothes like this you can see the block printing on my chair have you seen that so you use this yes, in making in fabric or in fashion also in daily life next one you know what is this stamp stamp for what we use the stamp Documents, authority use this stamp. So here also we use print making. Hmm? The print making started uh, around 15th century, and uh, it was used for the printing the books or Bible or for the uh, uh, what you can prasar of uh, Christianity, and uh, this is how they. carve the wood and uh, create the letters then uh, movable letters come and many more things happen in print making or printing and now you see the uh, offset printing which is very quick and cheaper also uh, next slide okay uh, do you have 100 rupees note in your pocket or somewhere else in nearby I will observe the hundred rupees. You know what is that? I have five hundred rupees. Okay, so th this is the note. If you see, you touch it. There are different technique. Here, this note is a base combination of all printing technique worldwide, from digital to tradal to surface printing to interglo. Okay. screen printing everything is there inside in this single note even the paper making comes in the print making so this paper has also made in the same technique okay so we'll talk about this in, in the in the end because this is the final piece of our uh, uh, print making knowledge let's learn about let's learn about print making common putting ink or paint on a surface and pressing that surface onto paper or whatever you want to make the print on there are four main types of printing relief Intaglio, planographic, and stencil. Relief is printmaking that you can compare to a rubber stamp. You take something that you can carve, like wood or linoleum, and carve away all the stuff that you don't want to show up in the picture. Then you put ink over the raised, not carved parts. You press a paper onto the inked surface and peel it off to reveal your print. 
Watch out, whatever you design will print in reverse. Here are some relief printmakers. Hokusai, a Japanese woodblock printmaker, most famous for his Mount Fuji prints, including the Great Wave. Tugboat Print Shop, founded by Valerie Lewis, makes woodblock prints that you can buy online. Intaglio is sort of the opposite of relief. In the many forms of Italio printing, the artist scratches the picture into the surface of maybe metal. These scratches hold ink and are what shows up when the paper is pressed onto the surface. There are many surfaces and many tools you can do this with, each with different names and techniques, such as etching and engraving. They all have these steps though. One, scratch the picture onto the surface, or make the picture into the surface using some chemical process. Two, rub ink on the surface, making sure to get in to the scratches. Three, rub the ink off the surface, but not too hard, let the ink stay in the scratches, but rub off the smooth, not scratched surface. And four, press the paper onto the surface to put the, pull the ink out of the scratches. Usually you use wet paper and a press. Some Intaglio artists are Albrecht Dürer, uh, his famous rhino is an engraving. Modern day we have Jaco Putker makes etching using old images. Edward Hopper did some etchings. Alexander Brodsky and Ilya Utkin made etchings of impossible buildings to speak out about the building conditions in the Soviet Union at the time. Planograph. Planograph is a bit more complicated than the others. It involves the surface being treated in some way that will allow you to put ink on and get a print that's not been carved. Lithography is the main type of this. It was invented in 1798 by Alois Seinfelder. Alois? 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 Seinfelder. You take a porous surface, usually limestone, and draw your picture on with something greasy like an oil pastel. Then you put on an acid, which makes the greasy picture transfer into the stone. Then you seal the rest of the surface with water-soluble gum arabic. Then you get the whole thing wet. Next you put on the ink, which is oily, so it won't stick to the wet stone, only to the greasy picture. A paper is pressed on, and ta-da, you have a print. This is complicated, but people loved it because you could get great detail and shading. M.C. Escher made woodcuts, linoleum cuts, and lithographs. Henry Toulouse-Lautrec's famous posters were lithography. Charles Joseph Holmendel illustrated the alphabet in lithographs. Lastly, stencil is a printmaking process where you press ink through a prepared screen. So only the not blocked areas allow ink through. A common form of this is called silk screen. In this technique, the artist has a screen with thousands of tiny holes made of stretched fabric. Then they block out the areas that they don't want the ink to show up in. Then they push ink through the screen onto a paper or surface. Lots of t-shirts are made this way. Andy Warhol loved this method. Roy Lichtenstein used it too. It was popular with the pop artists. Even though screen printing is very old, it is often used for modern printing in large batches on things like clothes, electronics, labels, and pinball machines. Now, one kind of printmaking I didn't discuss yet, because it's not one of the four types, be since it's a little different, um, printmaking is usually about making multiples and you can reproduce the same thing. One type of printmaking is not about that. That would be called monoprinting. Monoprints is where you make a print that can only happen once. The uh, printing process is a one-time deal. So you end up with one piece of art each print. A uh, way to do this would be uh, using a jelly plate or a gel plate and you put the paint or the ink onto the plate and then press the uh, paper on and pull it off. The act of pressing the paper and pulling the ink off means that that one print is all you can get. So you had the basic, basic idea about printmaking right now. But I'm asking you one question that if I can paint, then why should I do the print? Okay, because uh, the definition of a print is that you can make a multiple original of a same artwork with using the different techniques of a printmaking of printing. So this is this use this term is used in art only printmaking. Otherwise, in a commercial language, we call print newspaper print, catalog print, printing or print. We, we call it to printing or print. So this technique is a very, <clears throat> this uh, offset technique is very modern technique and where you can make multiple uh, or in a uh, quantity or mass uh, production. So it can reach to the people. But when artists use this technique, th then it comes in art. So we call printmaking. When 
in a steel screen printing we call it uh, as a uh, serigraphy we have different names for these techniques and these are the very basic techniques which can be used uh, for creating work of art or multiple work of art so it is very easy and very useful to reach to the maximum people because art has become such a commodity where it can can't able to reach for the normal or uh, layman and uh, only the print making has uh, the quality due to its multiple uh, uh, capacity uh, it can reach to maximum people uh, in the previous uh, era like so three to four year uh, back if you go in a renaissance period renaissance happened due to print making due to printing technology and it was very important in the in aspects to develop or make stronger democracy so that's the thing and we are now now going with the practical if you have any question right now you can ask me any question regarding the print making or uh, any uh, one has done this kind of thing before or they have done tracing also can tell me if you have done that anyone has done that before hello at school we have done stenciling 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 who has done stenciling yeah me avinash avinash wow sir even me i have also done stencil this part of my art projects who is yes Yes, sir. Even I have done stencil in art. Okay. And uh, anyone? Okay. So now we are going to do one practical of a print making, and I hope you all will enjoy. And I want want your hundred percent participant. Fine. So we will start. So you have this such kind of board, small board. Hmm. then we need paper this is cartridge sheet now we need to fold it okay cut it okay <coughs> the this two pieces keep one piece aside okay fold it again okay now we are pasting it just take this much of glue take call or something some different kind of glue and just put around so it will dry quickly because we don't have much time so we are doing it very uh, quick we have to finish it within time and paste it okay show me your pasted piece i want to use thick paper but we don't have that everybody can't able to uh, get it from the market so i am using the cartridge sheet drawing paper and fold it and making it thicker okay otherwise you can use the thick paper also now what i am doing i am pasting it on the board with small quantity of glue or fecal okay on the this side okay on the left side here very little quantity not much and paste it on the board i paste it on the board anyone have any problem of doing it if you have any problem just raise you're your supposed hand. to glue the whole paper right yeah yeah you need to paste not whole paper oh uh, yeah whole paper you can paste it but use little little gum not much otherwise it will be wet for long time 
so we don't have time to uh, make it dry okay if you paste this will be like this from one side it is pasted okay show me what you have done i hope everyone has done this okay so now we are going on the another part these are copier paper very thin paper show me your thin paper this is photocopy paper xerox paper or printing paper okay so what we are going to do now just make close up little close okay so we are pa pasting this paper just keep it here so you can see it should be at the center of the paper can you see the four part sir here here i am putting it on the paper so all four parts should be at the center so what we are doing we are just putting this paper at the center of the of a previous paper okay pasting this okay this is the center so i am just pasting this the one side okay you got what i am saying yes sir okay good it should be perfectly fit huh? perfectly pasted if it will not pasted properly then it will move and you will not get the image perfect image because we are doing two prints two prints two visuals of the same two drawings of the a uh, same same visual okay so we will uh, will get two same uh, uh, prints on two papers two different papers okay so now uh, look at this i am pasting the another paper from this side make sure there there should be a small space here okay there should be a small two or three mm space should be there here can you see this space okay can you see this space make sure this this tape should be smaller than than this width the adhesive tape should be smaller than this than this length okay it should not be bigger it should not overlap complete length okay if if we, it goes it overlaps on this length you, you should you can cut it good for so these are two papers we can play it like this like this okay okay everyone got it now what we are doing we are doing a fun with the colors the thing is that we are not using our pressure or uh, vigorously anything we are just doing it very softly gently okay so these are our colors show me the colors pastels we need only oil pastels hmm chal so open both the paper okay i'm going to fold this from this side i'm going to fold this randomly 
not uh, so parallel you can you can do like this like this any manner just fold it okay theek hai any manner whatever i am doing don't do the same thing you can you can sir. change accordingly sir how many folds one first fold second fold any, any number of fold you can do it okay i am just folding it here from here also theek hai i have opened both the both the both the paper okay then i am going to fold this i fold it fold it okay then i randomly fold it okay then i fold from this side you can fold according to your choice if you want to fold from the center you can fold it from the center okay like this good so i folded like this like this like this whatever manner okay so can you see this yes, this sir. is this is the previous stage okay now you can fold it in any manner whatever you think like this like this or like this any any manner okay have done that but got it make sure this paper this paper is going on this okay and make sure this fold should not come out this should be intact like this okay so slowly i am just putting this paper like this okay pressing it pressing the corners you can see the corners you can feel the corner okay you can close your eyes and also feel it you will enjoy it okay so i am opening it again i am opening this from all folds i am opening all the folds now and putting this paper again see now the paper is open now the paper is open so now <clears throat> what we are going to do we are using black pastel and remove the cover of that black pastel just remove it with anything any uh, sharp object and make sure you should be uh, careful about it okay while doing this you can use cutter also but uh, i am not allowing you to use the cutter okay so you can you use your nails and open it like this can you see i i have opened it completely i open the wrapper good so everyone is using black now black is very strong color so if you use black and make it completely dark then you can't use the another color on that you know about it na no? on the white you can make quick quickly some uh, stain on that but on the black you can't see the stain so black is very strong color so you should use responsibly and very gently very gently okay so break it in two two pieces now i'm using the smaller piece smaller one on this so what you are going to do you just take small adhesive tape paste it on the right top corner okay here make sure you are pasting very gently uh, without covering much area of white theek hai so you pasted it properly now we are using this pastel to the corners of the frame the paper i am showing you very gently can you see
if you press if you see the line then then press the line so you will get darker little darker shade on the border okay good can you see the border hmm sir can i use another color yeah you can use another color no issue you can use another color but use very gently it should be very lighter because we are using another color, overlapping the colors so make sure that your final color should come on it otherwise you will not see the uh, the, the final color top color okay so i am rooming with the eight again and keeping this paper aside taking another another paper overlapping it and pasting this at the left top corner got it so again i am using the same same color and marking the border very gently very gently you should not use the pressure just just okay good everyone is all right see these are these two are very much similar can you see both are the same looking same make sure you are drawing also uh, your print also should look same just gently you have to do this now what we are going to do we are just opening it again hmm theek hai making first fold the first fold make sure you are just folding first one theek hai second fold third fold all fold has done okay and random folds na rajesh yeah yeah the you you have first folded it na so just uh, follow the similar pattern okay so again i am sure again so i open all the papers then i folded first fold second fold third fold got it now i have done fourth fold one two three fold you can make four or three or five something whatever you want okay so i'm putting it right again we have to choose four colors now with black along with black which three you are choosing i am choosing red one blue and brown you can choose different colors also i am choosing this three i can also use orange also Sir, if I, I need. Sir, after folding the paper, where should we keep it? After folding paper. After, after folding paper, we need to keep the paper intact and paste this right side top corner properly. Got it? Okay, sir. Thank you. you can choose random colors no problem along with the black black should be there the fifth color is black i i am going to use three colors of out of it if i need i will use another color okay so i am keeping that the last option color aside okay so make sure what we are doing we are using lighter color first uh, sorry darker color first then 
in a sequence light to dark you are using dark first then middle color and then lighter color okay got it so i am using this dark make sure your paper should be straight okay press it properly and break break your pencil slowly make sure that line should come appear very gently very gently if you can't see you just open it and check where where are the folds i can see the folds okay can you see the folds so we should use a dark color right yeah use dark color and use gently don't make it darker now the last fold here is the last fold my fold is here the last fold what i am doing i am just filling this last with the with this dark color okay ठीक है यू कैन सी ऑल्सो यू कैन यू कैन चेक विदर इट इज गोइंग परफेक्टली और नॉट अभी हम लोग सेकेंड पेपर ले रहे हैं पहला दिस अ फर्स्ट वन दिस अ सेकेंड वन ओके लेफ्ट साइड फर्स्ट अभी मैं इसके ऊपर फिर से रख रहा हूं जस्ट मेकिंग श्योर कि इसके हिसाब से फिर से लाइन आएगी सेम कलर राजेश हां सेम कलर या सेम कलर सेम कलर सेम कलर एंड सेम इमेज सेम इमेज ऑल सेम कलर वी आर नॉट हां रीफोल्डिंग इट इवन जस्ट फोल्डिंग इट ओके एंड चेक बोथ आर सेम मेक श्योर बोथ आर सेम एंड इफ यू कांट सी जस्ट ओपन इट एंड चेक ओके now i am just filling this the top top color the top of fold done see both look similar okay now coming on the first paper before that i am opening first fold i am opening my first fold first fold or uh, last fold the last fold sorry yeah last fold you can say last fold we are we can we are going reverse last fold yeah okay i opened it again i put this paper on this i am using another color i am using blue little lighter it's okay so i am using small piece of this cutting it okay now i am filling this this portion the top wala fold
filling it completely. Okay. I'm using paper number two. You feel it completely. There should be no white space. Good. So we are removing the another fold. This one was my the fold. Okay. Now I'm using the red color. I've broken it. Make the thing is that you should not overlap the color with the other colors. Make sure that you are not overlapping the previous color with this color, whichever area is remaining, okay, of the previous fold, you should use that only. Hmm? If you use on the previous color, it will get grayish and that will not look uh, uh, brighter. That will be very uh, dull kind of work. If you want, you can do that. I am using, I am just filling all, all the part of this paper, uh, the, of the form. Okay. It is going up to here. Okay, now I'm using another paper, the paper number two. You can see both images look similar. Can you see? I'm going for the fifth fold. Sorry, fourth fold. I'm just opening it. I open this fold. Okay. And the first print, first paper, the putting it around and using another color, orange. If you are using cutter, then use it carefully. Okay. If you haven't used before the cutter before, so please don't use. They can use whichever color they like, right? Nah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like colorful like kite. <laughs> hmm? Okay. 
Okay? I'm using another uh, second, second number paper, paper number two. Check, both are looking same. Similar, I am opening the full paper now. Now what we can do, we can tear this paper from anywhere else. If you want to cut it, you can cut it like this and make a form. Can you see? I cut it in a very different shape. Okay. You can cut it anywhere. Make a hole in huh? the paper? No, no, you can make the hole. You can cut it from any, any, you can use the scissor also. Okay, any manner, any manner, no need that you should cut it like, you can cut it like this, like this, okay, here also, okay, here also, big cut, any manner, oh, it's up to you, don't copy it, you can make your uh, visual sense and you cut it accordingly, okay, good. Now I am using another color. I have one, two, three, four. I need fifth one. Where I kept that fifth one? One, two, three, four. Ah. So I'm taking, yeah, green. I'm using green. I cut it in small pieces and use very gently. Make sure whatever you are doing, you should be perfect on the cut. And you, you can see that there are folding, fold, folding lines, the previous line, which can be also appear on the uh, uh, on the paper, on the print. Okay. I'm just overlapping. You can also do that. If you don't want, you don't uh, do that. Okay. ठीक है
do it. Spot woman. ठीक है? We all are becoming Picasso. Become Picasso today. उसको जगा रहे थे। ओके गुड दिस बोथ आर लुकिंग सिमिलर The mind doesn't look uh, like similar. It's mind blowing. No, sir. Is it? So now, what we are doing? We are filling all the white spots with the black. Okay. So now I am using the black again. So I am filling it completely. Uh, if you want to keep like that, you can, you can no need to fill the uh, uh, all, all the paper. If you want, you can keep it like that without using uh, the uh, the white area. You can keep it uh, whichever you prefer. Whatever you prefer, I mean. Okay, for me this is done. I am showing you both the prints look similar. Okay, if I, if anyone wants for for the further thing, uh, look, uh, please uh, give your attention. Just a, just a second, just a minute. Uh, watch the screen. If you want to paste something on it, you can paste it. Okay, if you want to paste anything which is surface like a coin, also you can paste it. you can paste if you draw something cut it and paste it on the paper and do accordingly you can use the folds also you can do in many many manner the thing is that both or three four whatever look should look similar you can 
make a greeting out of it and give the uh, gift to the uh, to your uh, uh, teachers and friends for the birthday and all will look similar so that will also have fun okay everyone will get the same work of art okay so this is how we have finished it i am just removing it and i am showing both the prints okay slowly and gently remove the uh, uh, adhesive tape otherwise it will be uh, damage okay so this is what we have done are both looks similar and make a noise we have done it come on yay Minakshi. Okay, very good. You are a clap. Come on, you are big hand. Come on. Yeah, nice one, nice one, nice one. Another one is Elisa. So close, little close, little little close. Wow. Yeah, bad. Wow, unexpected. It's too good. Wow. Another Minakshi will be. Elisa will be. Who is Nikhil? ऊपर सर सर ऊपर नाइस वाओ गुड थैंक यू सर सो वाओ अ वेरी सेकंड वन प्ले मी सेकंड वन वाओ पुट क्लोजर क्लोजर बोथ टुगेदर आ ओके जस्ट विट कीप कीप इट लाइक दैट कीप इट लाइक दैट मस्त सर टू गुड Everyone's clapping. Okay. Thank you, sir. Nice. Little, little up. Throw some upper. Throw upper. Two, that two. Two, no, two, no. Okay, two, no, two, no. Baju, baju, me. Aji, baju. Baju, baju. Wow. Very nice. For Adi, come on, clap. Very good. You all are awesome. You are all the rock stars. And who is showing now? Who's showing? हाँ कहती 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 उल्टा कर लो एक उल्टा कर लो एक उल्टा कर लो एक सीधा हो गया दोनों अलग अलग वर्क ऑफ आर्ट हाँ यस 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 नाइस नाइस कलर्स की मॉल्स हो नाइस वन लैप या वाव टू गुड ये तो तांत्रिक पेंटिंग हो गया तांत्रिक नहीं मिनिमल हो गया ये तांत्रिक नहीं वो मिनिमल हुआ है शी इज़ लाइक टू टू गुड टू गुड आरती फॉर आरती कॉम क्लैप क्लैप शो कम क्लोजर तू द कैमरा नाइस आउ मैं भी वेरी गुड कॉम ऑन क्लैप फॉर आर कॉम ऑन एवरीवन थैंक यू सर हाय गुड 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 वेरी गुड no sir mine got completely ruined ruined okay, okay. okay. mine is no, a complete ruin no no problem show it, show it it might be very good you are not uh, i don't know sir like no sure show, show, show. no problem so no, no got little messy and i just didn't yeah, know yeah, it, it happens first time you are doing it so yeah so yeah, first time you are doing it, it just turned out to be a mess ah uh, i and second one second one i didn't even do it fully Okay. Yeah, show show again. I didn't do either of them fully. Neither of these. No, no issue. Yeah, it's looking nice. You can you can improve it. No problem. I don't. You know. can improve it. Ne do one thing. Again, you take your time slowly and make it and send it in on the group. Uh, Avinash, wow, wow, very good, very bright, very very bright. Wow, nice. So now every if anyone has any question regarding this. Regarding print making, first I am going to ask you the question. I have lot of question for you. Okay, one question is that now you understand this is the one technique we use pencils and use uh, sponge and color it. We we use spray to uh, make uh, pencil and spray on on the paper. We use that batata 
पोटैटो ओके वी ऑल्सो यूज भेंडी लेडी फिंगर सो आई एम आस्किंग यू हु हैव डन द प्रिंट मेकिंग बिफोर um not this way but the other way like you know uh -huh. um cutting shapes in vegetables and then pasting it on the paper with paint and all yeah those kind of okay good anyone so okay. uh, i did with a uh, coin the coin shading um, with the pencil and and we just print off the coin now we we have done with a it a very very a disciplined manner otherwise we just rub the coin and on a single paper we randomly do it okay when we do randomly it called mono print and when we precisely do the multiple originals these are the multiple original this is not duplicate of a one or either there should be one for the duplicate the one original should be uh there if you say the duplicate but here you can't see say this is original and this is duplicate so these all are original and this has the same value this is this both have the same value as a work of art and aesthetically and also in a business also i have done this a long time before so it was fascinating for me to do this after a long time and um, i haven't done this type of works like uh, i have done only stenciling and the vegetable cut uh, painting in the color and posting it so it's a different type of thing and i know really know want to know more about the printing so i have seen some people uh, are being using cutter on some surface so even that is called print making what's a uh, wish surface in some hard surface like wood or cardboard yeah 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 you can use that no problem for the print you you use paper or fabric for for the final print but to making it you can use any kind of thing as a pencil or as a uh, surface whatever it is not uh, uh, there no uh, rule that you should use this thing only you can use everything i will show you the uh, four techniques of print making four different styles of print making so you, you will see the finally how how it goes on a upgraded level or an advanced level Sir, and how did people do print making in the Renaissance era? I will show you few few prints. You will come to know. I'll show you. I have some slides. Uh, the uh, due to printing technology, the uh, writings, the uh, uh, what you can say, the books has create been created, and it spread all over the uh, the Europe and the Renaissance, the rejuvenation of. Uh, Uh, culture has happened in europe this print this is called oleograph and you have seen this prints before many times so this is called oleograph this is called lithograph this this is a technique which was invented long back but it was the reason for uh, renaissance okay there are four type of print making relief intaglio planography and stencils i will show uh, one one example of each each print making technique uh, if you want to learn about it you can go on the google and you will find everything every detail in that but i'm just introducing so you will come to know there are some technique called relief intaglio and planography and stencils this is just the introduction next slide this is called relief the, this wood would uh, artist cut it accordingly according to his uh, drawing and put the roller on that i will show the roller if if you carve this and <clears throat> this is a roller i will show you see if this is a carved plate we colored it like this and roll it like this so all colors from this side comes on the top of the carved image of the on the wood and then we press it on the pressing machine i will show you the press machine just a minute ha chalu hai kya camera i'll show you the press machine wait
this is the press machine can you see everyone see yes sir this is a press machine so we put plate and paper on the plate if it is plate we put the paper with the color uh, that roller and the color on the surface and press it by like pulling this okay so this kind of print can you see the print yeah yes yes sir okay so this is this is my print hmm so i'm going uh, for the next slide this is relief no do, do you know what is this any you have visited bombay before this is kanari kao which has this prince has done in 1886 i think 1886 so i own this print i i, I bought this print from london so this is indian heritage now so uh, this is this has done this is very small this is like 4 uh, inch by 6 inch the similar same size you can see on the laptop so this is very finely carved the wood, wood has carved very fine and they use the surface to print it okay this is like a skilled job okay the next one this is also relief so sir how do they carve the wood ah uh, with the tools with the tools uh, there are some tools uh, there are different tools the box mein hai ha nahi wo nahi wo udhar ka wala box mein mile ho udhar udhar wo ha wo dabba wo dabba hi utha ke le gaya aap sab log studio pe aa jao i'll show you this is my box tool box these are the tools these are the tools we carve it i will use the tool according to our drawing okay can you see yes ha huh? yes sir next slide now you have you seen that uh, if i put the color on the th on the palm and put it on the uh, press with the paper you can see the upper surface uh, surface comes up so that is relief and if i get the color out of and wash it then you can see the color uh, uh, fix with the lines in the lines if i get the print of that line that will call integlo here i carve the plate so that the groove in the groove i fill the color and wipe the upper upper surface so the groove should uh, the color remains in the groove glue uh, groove and i again press it again uh, in the press machine so, so this kind of result you get next one kon kon karte ho this is the rembrandt print and this is durer okay so next print this is integlo again this is a stone on the stone we we etch the stone and we use water and oil so you know water and oil doesn't mix and we take the advantage advantage of repellent medium repellent mediums and make the drawing chemically and after drawing we use the chemicals to fix the drawing and uh, if i press that stone with the paper then you will get multiple colors even you see that lakshmi and uh, saraswati which the same same technique uh, raja raviving has done it in the same technique next this is lithograph the previously 200 or 100 years back people were making the posters of a movie or theater with the help of lithography technique next one 
Still screen printing, it is called serigraphy. Many artists use this technique. The, uh, the right side image you can see is a Hussein's uh, print. Next. Now, this is the very interesting part, which is called monoprint. You can make, you can use uh, some glass and uh, on the glass, you can use the color and press paper by hand. You will see the impression, but it is only one print comes. Okay. It is kind of painting again. Next one. Monoprint. Right side is watercolor, left side is acrylic, I think. Next one. You can use anything for the monoprint. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope all of you enjoyed it very, very well. Oh, come on. Great. Thank you, everyone.